morning guys and welcome to this seasonal video of Wellington filming, painting and decorating trade secrets. And today it's the video you've all been waiting for, how to paint a staircase with a varnished or stained handrail, okay? Quite difficult to do this but I'm going to show you how you uh, go about it, okay? First thing you're going to need to do is rub all your stairs down, rub all your handrail and your caps off, okay? Make sure there's no emulsion, no paint on these because it will show up when you put the varnish on. So make sure they're like really clean, okay? Handrail and the cappings, right? And then we're going to follow by undercoating the spindles and the, uh, the posts, right? And what we're going to do first is to show you this particular varnish I'm using. It's a Dulux Trade one. It's a polyurethane varnish, clear gloss, okay? That's an oil-based varnish. I prefer to use these ones because you get nice high, high gloss finish and uh, it's more durable, okay? So that's what we're going to use on the handrail, right? So, let's show you how you go about that. <clears throat> right then, so now I'm going to show you just me uh, varnishing the uh, handrail and the cap on this little bit of stairs, okay? One thing you should pay attention to is, on these particular stairs anyway, these are like near pre-finished, okay? So when you're varnishing this handrail, especially underneath, which I'll, I'll give you a close-up of, after I've uh, varnished it. Try and keep your varnish off the uh, white woodwork, okay? The less you put on that, the more you've got to mess, the less you've got to mess about with, with your undercoat and gloss. So like I say, just try not to get hardly any varnish on the, uh, the white woodwork, right? So I'm actually just gonna work out of this meter uh, tip. Start off by the underneath. Like I say, don't worry. I'll, uh, I'll just give you a close up of that. But it's dead easy, all you're doing is just putting clear varnish to protect the hardwood handrail. So you're just putting clear varnish on it just to protect it. Okay. And this same, same applies if you're. Um, you're doing a, a staircase that's in your own house that's already been painted in this manner. The same, same rule applies. Just do your best not to get any varnish. Or if it's a stained handrail, when you're doing it in uh, light oak or something like that, just do your best not to get any uh, stain or varnish on the uh, pre-finish. on the pre-finished white will work. Okay. All I'm doing here, I'm just using an inch brush that, um, it's a synthetic brush. I've actually just done a video on how to trim them down so you can uh, take a look at that video if you want. So I'm just using that particular brush I've uh, trimmed down in a previous video. As you can see, look, on that cap. Like, like, like I say, before you start this procedure, rub it all down and uh, dust it all off nicely, okay? So when it's all rubbed down and dusted off, you can proceed with varnishing or staining your handrail. But so the trick is just to try and keep all the varnish off the off the uh, white woodwork. Because it's very difficult to cut the white in to the handrail and the cappings. So you want to avoid 
when you're doing this you want to avoid um, getting any undercoat and gloss on your handrail obviously and you want to avoid you want to avoid uh, getting any varnish on your whites as well so it's, with this particular type of stairs with a stained handrail it does take a lot longer to paint because you've got to be careful of the handrail getting any white paint on it Okay, now then, when this handrail and capping is fully dry, uh, at the end it will need another coat or two or three coats if you prefer. Okay, so when this is actually dry, this first coat of varnish, I'm going to proceed with undercoating these stairs. Okay, uh, so we'll get back to that uh, as soon as the handrail is dry. So, what I'm going to do now is just give you a close up of what's involved uh, varnishing this handrail, okay? Right, and on this particular stairs, as you can see, what you've got to do is just varnish these cappings and, and try and keep it off this area here, okay? Same goes with that, because when I come to a uh, undercoat it, I'm going to undercoat and gloss up to that underneath of the cap here. But when it comes to the handrail, what you've basically got to do here is, as you can see, just varnish up to the white area and varnish this here. Try and keep it off, off the white area, okay? Right then guys. I've made a start on undercoating these stairs. Okay, one thing I should point out is some people tend to use masking tape to uh, masking tape the handrail off when they're actually painting the white. I wouldn't recommend that because what happens is if when you hit the masking tape, the paint bleeds underneath the masking tape and, and doesn't leave you with a nice, neat, straight line. And that's what you want when you're dealing with the stairs with a varnish handrail and painted spindles and null posts, okay? So I just cut the video down a little bit. I've undercoated all this back section. Now I'm just gonna show you how I go about uh, undercoating this side here. Now when it comes to the spindles, get yourself a nice good glossing brush or undercoating brush, whichever. And when you come to go near the spindles, just push it up or try and just paint a straight line. Okay, simple as that. And then coat the rest of the spindle up. Okay. Basically what you're trying to achieve is a nice sharp line between the handrail, which is varnished, and the white paint. Start undercoating the middle of the spindle like that. When you've took off the excess paint, just push it up dead close to the handrail like that. Okay?
much paint in this day, you will need a good set of brushes for cutting in to wall areas, cutting into the handrail, etc. If you use new brushes, you just can't achieve the same quality of painting and it will take you about twice as long to paint something, if not longer, if you're using brand new brushes. So I would uh, recommend you just checking out my videos on how to shape a paintbrush for undercoating the glossy. Well worth checking out, okay? If you are painting this in a private property or on a private job, you'll need to sheet the surrounding area up so you don't get paint on carpets, etc. This is a this is a new property, so you know if I get a little bit of paint on the floor, it's not so bad. Obviously, I'm not supposed to get paint on the floor, but you know if I drop a bit on the floor, you know it's not a major issue. Whereas if you're in your own house or private customers, you know, dropping paint on the floor is a big problem, so make sure you sheet the area up. As I say, when it comes to painting the stairs with a varnish or stained handrail, the main thing that you need to to do is keep a sharp line between the white handrail between the, the you need to keep a sharp line between the handrail and the white woodwork okay otherwise it's going to look messy so just persevere take your time use a nice undercoat or glossing brush that's been used for a while or trim down for the job you should get a good, good finish. Okay, I'll just check that. And if it needs to undercoat, give it to undercoat and a gloss finish, okay? But if it's a, been a previous painted stair before, you might only need to give it one undercoat and one gloss to get the desired finish, all right? Right, there's the stairs, handrail varnished, Capping's varnished in clear varnish, okay. That's an oil based varnish and it's been undercoated. Spindles, null posts, tracking, etc. So, what I've got to do now is leave that to the bone dry, maybe 24 hours, and um, give it a light de nib down, dust off again, and gloss up the spindles, okay. Uh, when it's all been glossed, I'll give the handrail and the cappings another coat just to finish the job. Right, so uh, let me just give you a little bit of a close up now of uh, how I've undercoated it up to the varnish handrail. Right, as you can see, varnish handrail, and okay, I've had to hit the wall a bit there, so I'll just touch that up with the emulsion. Okay, and if you look at it, where the spindles go up to the uh, handrail, you can see I've not got any white uh, on the actual underneath. Okay, there's a little bit there that I've got to rub the handrail down again, so it should be a problem. So, there they are. Let's see if I can 
shine on your head. So like I say, just basically, just touch your brush right up as close as you get. But you know, it's quite a time consuming process, but well worth it when you get the uh, finish. Okay, so I'll come back to you with the um, glossing of this stairs. Right then you guys, now we're at the final stage of uh, glossing the stairs. I've already pre-glossed the other side of it, okay, so I'm just going to show you this small area. Um, after I finish glossing it, my final bit will be just to go over the handrail and the cappings again with the varnish, okay. So, like I say, same procedure for glossing as it is undercoating, right? And I must stress, you will need a good glossing brush, okay? Something quite short like that, that's either been used for a long time, okay? Or um, it's been trimmed down for a specific job. Uh, there is a video I've got out on that, on trimming synthetic brushes, so, check them out and uh, th th they do work out quite good for, for glossing woodwork. Right, so <clears throat> let's get down to it. Last stage, okay? So let's just gloss this side here. But like I've said before, you know, it is a lot more time consuming when you've uh, got a stained or varnished handrail because you've got to be quite careful of uh, getting paint on on the uh, on the varnish handrail, right? Plenty of videos on there how, on how to gloss woodwork. Like I say, you will need a, a good good glossing brush. Just cover the uh, the woodwork with your gloss. Don't overload your brush to the point where you know, you're putting too much gloss on, just enough to do the job. And when you gloss a flat surface like that, just check around that back edge there, or just run your brush down it. Okay. And then just do a up and a down motion, so you don't leave any brush marks in it. The idea of brushing this and not rolling it is, uh, when you brush, you're actually laying it off at the same time, so you get that high gloss finish. When you use a roller, you're leaving an orange peel effect, and then you've got to lay it off with the brush to get that harsh, high, high shine. Okay, so when it comes to the spindles, like I've said previously, semi-dry brush, not too much gloss on it. Right, work it in, halfway down the spindle like that, and then literally just take it up dead gently. So you can either go up like that and down, or if you've got a good brush, you get your straight line like that and then go down, okay? So that's the hardest bit, getting it cut into the actual varnish area or stain. Same procedure on that, just check around the edges for, for that, when the gloss goes round, okay? Start air work the brushing. And just literally, just push it up dead gently. Like that. Or, just run a line across there. But I must stress, you will need the right type of brush for it. Okay, you're not, you're not going to do it if you've got if you're trying to use a brand new brush or a brush that's not been trimmed down. You're going to struggle to get that cut in there without touching the varnish work. So, and just bear in mind, you know, it, it takes you longer to do it. It's not like you can hit all the underneath with a gloss, so, you know, it will take you that little bit longer. Okay.
Christmas using a, a Dulux train high gloss paint here. And you will have to excuse the uh, the light I'm working. It's a Monday morning, bad weather outside, and guess what? No power on. So I'm actually got a bit of a spotlight in front of the camera. Not that you can see that, but there is. Right then. So I've glossed all that then just, just go over it, check for runs, especially near these top of the spindles, just check for runs. Okay. Yes, even as professionals get runs in the gloss work. Right, so that's how you paint. That's how you paint a staircase with a stained or varnish handrail, cappings, etc. Okay, make sure you get yourself a good shaped brush for doing this particular type of work. And that's it. Simple as that. Nice and shiny stairs. All I've got to do now, by the way, is just varnish this again, which there's no point in showing you that. So, anyway. Right then, so that's how you gloss the staircase, okay? Right, I'd just like to take this opportunity to say thanks to all my subscribers. Uh, if you have subscribed, don't forget to check all them videos down the bottom of the list and good stuff there, okay? Uh, don't forget to subscribe yourself, thumbs up and comments most welcome. Uh, if you do want to ask me any questions, just uh, contact me on the email address either at the beginning or at the end of this video okay so i just finally like to say merry christmas have a good one okay until next time catch you later